when you're trying to figure out what you want to do with your friends. What's up, everybody? I'm Luke with Ride Bikes More, and today I am with Alan here at Third Ward Tours. But before I get started with the bike ride interview, I want to say special thanks to uh, Super 73 for the support and La Mochila Candy Co. for the awesome candy that they give us. I have it somewhere around here. And remember to follow if you're not already following because it makes you feel good. Mm. Alan, tell us a little bit about Third Ward Tours. All right. Uh, so I started this back in 2015. Um, I was looking for something to do. Actually, my background is in social work. So I worked at this group home with kids, and they always used to try and get me to ride bikes. Uh, I never thought about it. I was just worried about working and all those things and just worried about work. So I never hopped on the bike. So once I left that job, I hopped on the Houston B-Cycle bike. And then I was like, this is enjoyable. I should have been riding bikes. So hopped on the Houston B-Cycle bike, rode around, and it was really enjoyable for me. So uh, I decided that I wanted to start a bike riding group um, and so I sat in the living room thought of a name came up with let's do this Houston it came about when you're trying to figure out what you want to do with your friends and you say hey let's do this let's try this and we were in the city of Houston so I just put the names together let's do this Houston and then it was born I put it on Instagram I googled bike rentals I found this guy Dr. Vion McReynolds and he ran this bike tour group uh, called Tour de Hood and he did free ride, he does free rides every Wednesday. And so once I uh, connected with him, I pitched him my idea of what I wanted to do. And then, you know, we created a beautiful partnership. Uh, we was able to find a niche audience market of people um, that haven't rode bikes in a long time. So that's who our audience is, people that are looking to become more active, that have not rode a bike in a long time, that want to listen to music, um, I visited New Orleans and I seen they had night lights on the bike so I added LED lights on the bikes as well for night rides so we kind of uh, just tried to make biking fun and add different elements to it and that's kind of everything in a nutshell. That's really awesome I love the backstory I also want to say special thanks to Amber for holding the camera today I appreciate that where do you ride around do you I, I noticed you put a speaker on your bike so are you uh giving out historical information or what what exactly is going on yeah so when we first started we we started doing historical tours uh, with dr vion he had the speaker connected to his bike and we were doing historical tours throughout the area stopping at tsu stopping at historical el dorado ballroom project row houses Emancipation Park and we actually started uh, open the same day Emancipation Park opened on Juneteenth weekend um, uh, June 7 June 19th uh, 2017 and so we started out with tours and we started out in the third war community then we started branching out to other parts of, of Houston such as downtown the museum district and just mapping out safe routes for our group to travel in how uh, how many miles will the ride be today uh, it would probably be five miles, six miles round trip. Uh, we're doing a biking brunch today, so that consists of our guests riding to a brunch location, sitting down, eating, drinking, and all those things, and then they're riding back here. Now, you mentioned Instagram. Where else can people find you on social media? Uh, you can find us on Twitter. You can find us on, uh, we have YouTube. We have TikTok. Uh, we gained a big following on TikTok in a short amount of time through our videos. And uh, yeah, you can find us all in there. And Facebook as well. For the people that are watching, what do you want them to know about Third Ward Tours? Uh, Third Ward Tours is all about having fun, but we're all about safety first. We're all about safety first and then fun second. Um, we want people to be educated on how to share the road with cyclists once they get back in their cars. Um, we feel like once you enjoy Third War Tours and see how safe we are and how we're able to share the street, street with other with drivers, then you will want to always want to come back because we have an amazing safety record. No one has ever been hurt on our tours. We've never called 911. No one's ever been hospitalized because we're all about safety first and then fun second. Um, but you will always have a good time when you come here, listen to your favorite music, stop at your favorite local business, uh, and just have a good time with friends and family. Now you mentioned that a lot of the riders might be first time riders or people that I haven't ridden in a minute. 
So is there some kind of safety procedures that you go over with them beforehand? Um, yeah, we just talk about safety rules and how to ride in the street, what do we, the instructions that we give while we're riding in the street. And most importantly, you must know how to ride, you must know how to operate your bike at all times before going on this tour. Even though it is beginner level bike riding, you must be able to operate your bike while in the street next to others just for safety reasons. Um, but we do make sure that people uh, have their tires uh, checked, their seats are up high enough, um, that all the bolts are good, nice and tight and uh, just make sure that they're focusing while we're riding, making sure that they're not on their phone swerving and doing things like that um, because that can become a safety hazard for people. Is there anything you want to tell the people that are driving or other riders? Uh, yeah, that, you know, slow down. Um, you do have to give us at least six feet when you're riding passing by. If you're a truck, if you're a car, give us three. Um, and, you know, you have a thousand pound ton vehicle so you really can hurt someone with you know with your automobile so uh, just be patient um, as we ride around and you know wave and hunk at us when you see us. So we just got to the midpoint Alan tell us a little bit about um, getting from the starting point to the midpoint. Yeah so we just made it over here to the locker room this is a local business um, that we decided to come visit um, for our bike and brunch ride that we host. Uh, we took a ride from Emancipation Ave all the way over here by TSU to Ennis and Blodgett. And, uh, you know, guests are about to go enjoy some food. Uh, we made it over here safely. Uh, one thing we did stress was making sure we stayed to the right and stop at every light and stop sign. No matter how excited you are, you know, any of those things, um, we just want to make sure we have a safe ride over here. And we, and we, we did that. Is there anything else you want to tell the people that are watching? Um, that, you know, Third Ward Tours, let's do this Houston. Um, you know, it's a great bike ride, a bike tour. We host various types of themes that you can come enjoy, um, such as 90s R&B night. You can uh, come listen to 80s music uh, we have coming up. We have uh, Sagittarius night coming up. If you're uh, into signs and horoscopes and things like that, we feature your favorite Sagittarius artists while we're riding around. But um, overall, like we said, um, you was able to see a nice safe ride over here. Um, no accidents, nobody got hurt and things like that. And you know, we all about safety first, fun second. Any shout outs you want to give? Um, shout out to Dr. Viami Reynolds. That was one of the first person, people that I reached out to when I started this journey in my business. And uh, we've created a beautiful partnership uh, ever since. And uh, you know, we looking to expand to other parts of the area. Great. Yes, sir. Well, I could not have said it better. I appreciate your time today. I'm Luke for Ride Bikes More, and we are out. <clears throat>